Hey guys and welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Phil Richards. In today's video we're going to be going through the quadrant test for the hip. So what is this test used for? Well theoretically it's designed for detecting internal derangement of the hip joint. So we could be thinking the labrum, um, but also any irregularities to the femoral head surface, um, which could include something congenital, i.e. that's how they were born and developed, or it could be more something arthritic that's catching on something. But because there's so many different things it could be, personally when we use it in practice, we tend to use it for when people are complaining of clunking around the hip, because there's so many structures you can be stressing. Not to mention, when we show you in a sec, loads of the hip flexors and an adductor will get squashed as well. So if someone's got femoral anterior impingement, you can bring that on. So because there's such a wide range, we personally use it more for clunking because if we can reproduce the patient's clunking, we might suspect a labral tear and that might give us more information. Also, because it's similar to just doing a passive flexion that you'll be doing as part of your hip assessment anyway, you'll be picking parts of this up. So, with all that said, let's recap. We're thinking inside the hip. We're thinking clunking or reproduction of the patient's pain. Great, how do we do it? There's two versions. First one, we're gonna bring the hip up into full passive flexion, pain permitting from the patient. Once we have that, we're gonna come into adduction. And what we're trying to do here is we're gonna go from an a deduction to an abduction, scooping around, trying to feel what's happening inside the joint. We're trying to butt up and scour around. Sometimes this one in particular is called a scour test. The thing is, is you'll read in the, the literature that you're looking for bumps and irregularities. However, because it jams so many things, you're going to find that the patient won't like it. They'll spasm and you're going to start to think you're feeling things that you might not be. So take that with a pinch of salt. But that's essentially the first one. So it's full flexion, scoop into adduction and AB abduction, looking for reproduction of pain or clunking. The second version is designed to sort of maximize the compression on the quadrants. But it's exactly the same idea. So we come up into full flexion, a deduction. From here, we add internal rotation. This is now trapping the femoral head right up into the top corner, and then we allow the leg to come all the way down into extension. Again, looking for that pain or clicking. That's the inside part. We're gonna do the outside part. So full flexion, abduction, this time external rotation. So we're jamming this part of the hip and then we're coming all the way down. So they're the two tests. So is this one that we use a lot in clinical practice? Well, as I alluded to earlier in the video, we tend to use it for clunking. Because there's so many things you can stir up, it can be difficult with your clinical impression. However, if you're looking to reproduce the clunk, then it might be useful in detecting a labral tear. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon on Clinical Physio.